Okay, so this time we're going to animate more um, more animations and also um, blends between um, the locomotion uh, cycles that we have already created. Uh, so we can start off with a blend from run to let's say walk. So simply we add a new animation and call it run underscore to walk and now we we've copied the run animation and we now we're going to get the pose from the walk animation so we take the start pose and copy the complete thing and go to our blend and now we we clean it um, so that we only keep the start pose here and we paste the other okay now we got to um, set the extend mode uh, to constant because it shouldn't do anything after um, the after the animation it should not loop so um, you see that that doesn't really work out and so it's, it's just a smooth blend and it's not what we, what we want uh, so you're going to have to modify it a bit to make it um, look more plausible so we get to the layer of our controllers uh, now you see here this foot uh, the left back the left foot we could say that one should stay where it is so we I've marked the position here with the cursor and now I'm simply going to take all the controllers including bit 01 and move them forward and now you see it stays in place but the whole thing moves a bit forward okay so now this is too short we've got to add more detail in between um so now the back looks good probably even no, it's okay. Um, so now we want the um the legs to not to us. Uh, um, we want them to take a step instead of just glide over the ground. So we simply duplicate the first key of one of the legs and the last. Uh, of one of the hands and the last key of one of the other hands uh, of the other hand and now we can um, go in between the keys and duplicate or uh, and pose it move it up a bit and now we can do the same for the other side and we'll we'll need a bit of overlap between um, the the still the uh, the still parts so it looks more plausible and now we've got That's too much over um too much um uh still parts so um the 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 movement is too fast so now the movements um um are kind of intersecting so that sort of works. 
And now you see, I'm not keeping it completely still here because it was starting to cause um, a stretch. So that should work now. So now one more thing. Um, now this is kind of hard to preview properly because it uh, it goes so quick and see I think oh yeah so we can I forgot to slow it down on the other on the other uh, bone layer and now it looks more plausible and it's still pretty quick but this is because the frame rate is uh, too high at the beginning when Blender displays short animation. So this can be misleading. Okay. So now one more thing. Um, you're going to want to have um, those blends as kind of a um, you could say um, you want the um, acceleration deceleration of, uh, of the animal to be uh, smooth so um, you can um, edit the, um, the IPO curves to resemble that so we can roughly um, get the speed um, for the walk. So this is um, about yeah, well, let's say minus a half, and for run, it's minus one. So we have um, we have a deceleration here, but our IPO curve looks different. So we we go edit it, and so we want um, this tangent here. So of for one unit, it goes down one. And we want um, this tangent here, so uh, it goes slower. And we can interpolate it a bit, and that looks better. It's um, not as important here as it is for uh, things like when you go from run to stand, uh, there you can notice this uh, deceleration. Okay, so now we can uh, do the reverse of this action. So we duplicate it, and this time it's called walk underscore to run. So you reverse it and now you see this is of course not what we want because uh, it moves backward and the bip01 also doesn't quite do what it's supposed to be. So we we're gonna um, get the poses back again from here. So we make sure that we have unmodified poses because if we would uh, always take the pose from a modified action, uh, we could get some error and the error would spread 
um, but it's better to use to always use the source animation. So in this case, the the main walk cycle, and we go to walk to run and paste this pose and run ahead and paste this pose. So now again we can look what would stay the same here. So this time probably the front legs should stay in place. So we'll move the whole thing so it aligns with the front legs. And we're going to get rid of those in between leg keys. And now it moves forward. So the right, uh, the right hand doesn't need any additional key. So, but the left hand needs one. And the legs need one. So what we're going to do? We're going to, um, yeah, take the back left first, and then the back right second. Okay, there's a little bit pause here, so it blends better. And yeah, that, that kind of works out. So you don't have to um, have to um, spend too much effort on on these blend animations because they are not seen as often as the main walk cycle. So if it looks somewhat plausible, it's usually good enough. Because it's not like they are uh, extremely important. Okay, but you st you should still um, do them with some care, so they look good. Okay, and again we can um, quickly edit the. IPO curve for suitable tangents. So this time um, we'll have a, um, a flatter tangent here and a steeper one there. And you can notice it here in the 3D view. Uh, it's slow here and here it becomes fast. That gives it some more plausible motion. Okay, um, so we've got walk to run done. So now we can do um, walk to trot. So add a new one. Walk. Oh no, we're going to use um. Oh yeah, to delete an action that you don't want, you have to um, un untoggle this F button, and then it becomes gray. And then, if you've got no more users of this action in your blend file, um, after you save it and reopen 
um, it'll be gone. So we can try this now. So we have to select another animation and save and reopen. And now it's gone. Okay, now we can add a new one. Walk to trot. Oops, typo. So if you um if you name your actions correctly now, um this will help uh later on when you when you want to build your BFM because if you follow this naming scheme it generates the BFM automatically um, and correct with all those blends in the places where they're supposed to be so you don't have to worry about anything later on and this makes your life much easier than if you if you name your animations by a random scheme or something okay so we get the drop pose and we have the walk pose so again we set the end so this is kind of um, yeah well what do we do here uh, it won't stop so we are going to move it forward one face so we'll bring it forward by um, 0.4 I think it was I've got to check here so it has the same speed yep 0.4 um, so we can copy uh, most of the stuff so we simply go here and go to walk ahead oops walk ahead and select all channels and all keys minus the last uh, the last uh, column of keys and we go to uh, we use this copy copy and paste tool here and this allows us to copy multiple keys while this one over here at the right only allows us to copy one pose but here we can copy uh, multiple poses um, at once so we paste it here uh, oops now I used the wrong one so oops so that didn't work out at all um, so we go back to walk ahead and copy it again go to walk to prod and paste it and it doesn't want to work at all and I have no clue why um, so we can Uh, yeah, well, we can clean the keys and walk ahead, get them all, minus this. So now we copy and go to walk to trot. And hey, it's weird. Now it seems to be scale down oh come on uh, usually it works pretty well but this time it, it really doesn't want to so we'll just do it like I started uh, and simply copy walk ahead Oops. and call it walk to trot and we Save it and reopen to get rid of the other one. Okay, now we've got a copy of the walk ahead, and now we get the pose of trot ahead. 
and go to walk to trot and we paste it at the end we move it forward by minus uh, by minus 0.4 And now you see it all works out except for the front legs, the arms. We gotta adjust those keys manually. So what can we do? So it looks good this way. Okay, the left hand, right hand first. Right hand goes here, then stops. Okay. Right hand simply, so here it stays, and here it comes. So if we just take this one. And we move it up and rotate it after we've deleted this key. And it looks good. And now left hand. So it steps. And steps again. So we're going to delete this one. Uh, it's confusing. So here we have a okay left hand now. We have a step and then it rests. No, then it wants to step again. So that's not really what we want. We don't want uh, two steps immediately after one another. So we can put in a little pause here. And now those are synchronized, so that's also not um, good looking. So this is part. Okay, we we've got to get um, the the step of the the right leg inside um, the pose of the left leg. So the uh, the right hand, oops, the right hand should step here. So we get rid of this key and we bring this one here and we duplicate this one. Now step, step. And now this, this looks almost like it's tripping over, so this is not really the way to go. Maybe the simple solution is just to start over from scratch and try to come up with a different thing. So uh, we can set the extend mode to a uh, constant so it doesn't uh, confuse when we move out out of frame range okay so we're going to start with one with the left arm because this one um, has more more to do it it occupies more time And maybe we could leave it like this because it looks much more plausible with this little uh, slide than it looked with all those tiny steps. Or maybe we can insert a little more pause here and a little more pause there.
and now it's beginning to work out. So this one moves here and we can give this one um, relatively long pause until let's say about here and then bring it up here just a little bit so now now it would it also needs a bit of pause here so, it, so it's just a little bit of a crip more or less I don't like like it still but if we make it really faint so it just drags over the ground I think it's not so um, not so bad yeah, well I don't like it still but it looks better than uh, than the triply tripping motion we had before we can change this around a bit So now, if we move this one more, to the end, it might look out better. It's hard to tell. I think now it's look now it looks good. Yeah. It's really hard to notice um, the dragged foot, and it it's lifted just a bit and just enough to change into the trot gate. So that looks good. Yeah, save it. Okay, and now we can do the reverse. So, um, trot to walk. And we get the poses again. Uh, trot ahead. And we copy and go to trot to walk and we paste it and we go to walk ahead and copy and go to trot to walk and go to the end and paste it and move it forward by point four and again the arms are messed up and we can keep the rest so this time it's the opposite so we um, can delete the keys again
and now we need just a little step here and a big step here for this one and here we add a pause not as much so this one works like that that stupid frame rate makes it really hard to see such a short animation uh, because it simply doesn't preview correctly but I think um, that's okay too Okay, so now we have all the blends that we need, and now we could go on animating some more animations. Okay, so for example, we could begin with a, a swim cycle. Uh, so we would start with, a, with our walk cycle and make a copy and call it swim ahead so first we need a start pose so we'll pose it around oops correct layer now so we'll change the pose a bit So we bring the head slightly above uh, the BIP01 level. And now we've got some kind of a swimming pose. And this one. We can even add some spine curl from the top. So we go slowly the spine and curl it and get the pelvis. And now take neck and head and curl it back. And the tail. Yeah, we'll we'll let the tail curl along. It looks better on the mammal. Okay. Okay. So we've got our start pose, and we'll take our end pose. So again, move it full, paste it, and move it forward by four, and now the middle. So paste it mirrored and move it forward by two. And now we just gotta get rid of those in betweens. Uh, 
and so in, so now it looks kind of stiff. So we need a new in between pose, and we can add a little variation for the spine. So move it up a bit and reduce the curl and open the mouth a bit and now the the backward stroke of the leg uh, brings the force so here the right hand performs the backward stroke so we move it downward while the left hand performs the um, the um, the stroke that simply brings the hand back forward, so it would be dragged closer to the body to um, cause less friction. And we have the same thing here with the legs. The left leg uh, performs the power stroke, so it would go down, and the right leg does the reverse so it would be closer to the body and again we take only the controller we move up and we paste it mirrored and we move it forward oh we forgot to um, mirror the spine so also mirror it We can so the legs are moving really nicely, um, but the spine could do some more. It's looking relatively boring. Um, so we mir mirror it again and paste it, and I think I went. Something ran, went wrong here. Yeah, I pasted the wrong pose one time. Uh, but still, um, the head needs some more interesting motion. At the moment, it's just a A little bit of neck rotation that was too strong. So we can rotate the pelvis a bit to bring it more up. Paste it. And of course, this is um, because this is a swim cycle the it would move slower because um, you have friction of the water so let's say we slow it down by 0.75 uh, no by so to slow it down we scale it by 1.5 to make it slower and this looks more appropriate and we can also uh, create some uh, tail action so we bring it down here and we copy and paste oh I didn't scale down the legs so we also as um, slow them down, so scale them by 1.5, and that looks more reasonable. So we've got our swim cycle.
Okay. Ah, uh, so now we can um, also create. Uh, yeah, let's do a walk to swim blend next. So we add new walk to swim. We've already got the walk pose, so we simply copy the swim pose. Complete pose for all bone layers. Um, walk to swim. Go to the end and paste and delete all the crap in between. Okay. And now we can simply uh, move everything forward by say point two. Oh. How fast does it go? 0.2 by 10 frames, so 20 frames would be um, 0.4. Uh, so let's make this one um, um, a 10 frame blend. And we can simply copy for the reverse and just reverse it. And of course, make sure that our motion is not reversed, so we got to reverse it manually. So it moves forward. Okay. And now we've got pretty much all the locomotions we want, just one more. Um, and that is we can add a um, some kind of crouched walking, um, so stalk, stalking animation. And walk will be our base for that. So we call this one stalk ahead. So what happens if we simply move down the pelvis about that much minus Point two so we simply do it for all frames so we don't have to redo its rotation so the back legs work well but we've got a kind of a problem here at the front. So how can we avoid those nasty stretches? So we could try to solve it by weight painting, but it would probably be better to move the IK controllers forward by uh, point 2 so now they are no longer creating a uh, trouble with the shoulder region, or at least not as much. Okay, so now we can do some more work on the actual pose. So we could move the spine a little bit 
backwards maybe, further down, and backwards. Don't know if that looks good. Okay, that could work out. So we want to give it some kind of uh, crouching posture now. So we'll kind of like ambushing spray. And we could try this both. I'm going to copy, move forward, and again move forward. Okay, now the in betweens. Perhaps like this. And now, if we make that really slow, it might look good. So, two times the speed, uh, half the speed. That looks a bit too wobbly, probably we should uh, delete those, at least delete the pelvis keys to make it more stable. And now add new ones to make, make it stable again. Again, and we could pin down the head, and then I think it would be pretty good, relatively stable, and interesting to look at. We can of course um, lower the, the raising of the um, lower the raised pose of the legs so they don't raise as high as they do at the moment because it causes distortions. Obviously, so we can take this pose and copy it again. And now I think that looks pretty good. It's not hectic. It's not too slow, and also not too fast, and not too many distortions, and no, no ground intersections.
that's also good. Okay, so this one looks nice. Well, just the blends now between walk and stalk. Uh, so we got walk, walk to run, and we can duplicate it and go to stalk. And we need stalk ahead. And we grab the pose and we go to walk to stalk and we paste the pose. And now we should probably um, make it as a complete walk cycle. So we're going to get these keys from walk ahead. Maybe it works this time. Go to walk to stalk and we copy them all. And amazingly it works. So we just got to move this one for forward. Okay, so we'll get rid of those pelvis keys. And now you see it's blending down. Same with the tail. And we get rid of the neck and head keys because we don't need as much detail here. We just want a smooth transition from from um, from one animation to the other. So the same here for the spine. All we want, all we need are the Bones are the. Sorry, what happened here? So the legs doing funny stuff, but I think we'll just keep it that way. It's hard to notice anyway. We can only make it a little bit slower. I think that's good enough already. Ooh, we've got a problem here. So I'm going to avoid it. How can we just bring it down? Okay, this one as well. Okay, no more problem here. You can already move this one more forward. And I think then we don't even need the additional keys. We can also delete this one, and then it blends nicer. I think that looks quite good. Okay, so now we need the reverse. Mm, so we take run to walk and add a new one and call it stock to walk. And we get our pose once again. All of the bones. Stalk to walk. Paste it. And delete these. And get walk ahead. 
copy it from all channels but this time we leave blank the first key so um, let's talk to walk and select all channels and paste oops not overwrote here now paste again yep okay so we don't need pelvis we don't need spine we don't need any of these we only need the controllers at the top okay so the hand can you leave this one you can turn it into a little hovering okay and I think that looks good already here is a slight problem maybe from the other side as well where is it? here so we also move this one down and it looks quite good oh yeah we got to slow it down 1.25 okay so now we've got quite an assortment of locomotion enemies and of course um, they will only uh, walk straight ahead so next time we'll we'll have to introduce turning animations and when when we're done with all of them uh, these will be quite a lot of actions